Hi hey everybody, we gotta move to a different spot on this lot today. So that means we gotta open up a trail that's partially there and partially not. We'll have to make a new one at that point. The new trail is going to be going right past this little outhouse that the owners have sitting here and I'm going to have to put a bumper tree next to it so it doesn't get hurt. This is a small pine tree that I cut last night that's going to be right in the middle of my trail. So that's what I'll use for a bumper tree. I'll hitch the horses onto it and pull it ahead a little ways and set it up as to protect the outhouse. I apologize, I must have touched the lens of my camera with my finger because I have a smudge on my film that I'm seeing once in a while. You can hear the noise in the background, the neighbors across the road still have their chipper running and uh, that's making quite a bit of noise over there. I am going to be glad when they leave so I have some peace and quiet when I'm logging here. So I'm just rolling this into place so that the back end of the of the log is hitting a small tree in the front end is past the outhouse. I actually will bring up another short log and put at 90 degree angle of that log just so it can't slide the front end over it. So here I have a big deadfall in the trail. It's a big old pine tree that's been laying here for a few years. So I uh, came back and cut it where I wanted it and now I will get in front of it and pull it into the woods out of the trail. There's no good place to put a chain around the tree, so I use my handy logging tongs and stick them into the wood, and we pull it out with that.
there, that opens up a nice path for us. Here's some of our future lumber. I love to see this regrowth. Of course, it's way too thick, but I will thin out a bunch of them because they're right in the trail. There's a lot of massive stone walls up here. Somebody must have done a lot of work years ago. This right here is one of the big reasons why people have given up on horses and gone to using skidders and dozers. The blade on the skitter and dozer is so handy to be able to push this trash out of the way. And with horses, you just don't have that. You have to do it the old-fashioned way of picking up the sticks and throwing them out of the way. So I came upon some more deadfall that I need to clean out of the trail. It wasn't set up such that I could pull it out with the horses. It would have just put it in the road and I would have had to still push it out of the way. So I grabbed my cant hook and rolled the stuff out of the way by hand. This one I would have cut in half with the chainsaw but I saw all that dirt, I just didn't want to dull my saw. This is a 20 acre wood lot and when you're doing little jobs the boundaries are always a concern. Fortunately on this particular job the whole back side is bordered by the state. So those are all well recognized lands that we don't have to be concerned with as far as knowing where they are. Do have to be very careful we don't cut any trees or brush across onto the state land though. So here's our first tree of the day.
So I'm setting a cradle hitch up on this tree like I did in a, few, in a recent video that you could look at if you want to learn more about the cradle hitch. But this is a little bit different because I need to have the cradle hitch set up. I also need to roll this log out from behind that stump. So it's going to be a little tricky and plus I'm not able to get my chains on quite as far as I would like just because of the way that tree is sitting. So I'm going to have to have one side of the cradle hitch tight so that it's rolling the log out and the other side still hitched but rather loose. So I just hope that as I roll it out there it all stays together so that I can get this log out of here. It's 17 feet long. It's quite a big piece of wood. I will end up cutting it into two eight footers but I'm hoping to get it out in one piece. getting off the cart here because I want them to back up over this stump with one tire and it just makes it a little easier if I don't have my weight on it. I need to be as close as I can be to make this work. Lady and Bill are not really large horses, but yeah. they sure do like to pull and they are very strong. Well, my chain stayed on, but I just need to do some more adjusting to make sure that they stay on until I get all the way out to the landing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ja. Oh. Nice job. I would have preferred a little bit smaller tree to go out through on the first hitch. You never know what pieces of wood you might have missed. I know I have one small deadfall up here ahead that I didn't cut because it was half in the dirt. So I'm hoping it will pop up over this without hitting it. Well, it hit it. Nice step. Careful. Oh! It's not good. <laughs> nice step off. Oh, hey, come on, sir. I step. Oh. We got it. I thought I was going to have to walk out and get a saw and cut that deadfall in half. Nice out. 